All right, let's get into the Weekly Watch Report, where we talk about the things we watched this week. Weekly Watch Report on Monday. Weekly Watch Report on Monday. Weekly Watch Report on Monday. Weekly Watch Report. Boom, 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 boom. On Monday. Bow, 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 bow. On Monday. Um, okay, Ocean's Eleven A. <laughs> we already talked about let's it. Let's just get that one out of the way first. I don't even need to discuss any yeah. further. Or I could. But I'm going to give it an A. And I'm excited to watch um, watch Ocean's 13 tonight. And I'd like to reiterate. So do you want to grade Ocean's 12? No, because I fell asleep and it's. <sighs> okay. I might just skip over Ocean's 12. Okay. Because I've heard about how good Honestly, Ocean's 13 is. I don't even know if I've is. ever seen 12 fully. So I think I might skip over Ocean's 12. Okay. Ocean's 11 came out in 2001 and I was born in 1997. So I don't think it's that crazy that I haven't seen it. You know, I'm think, older than you. I haven't seen it, so you know, I don't, you know, think, I don't think it's crazy. Really, states. That's true because some people might be like, "That's so yeah, crazy." Like, like, right, you've seen Goodfellas. That came right, out right. You. That yeah. came out way before. Uh, some people. Some <laughs> I was people, looking no for matter, a way to defend. I know. You know, yes. defend. I was. Yeah, but, but I there's just no think reason that to there defend. are sometimes there are some moments that, regardless of time, age, or whatever, people miss. They're like, oh. I just I wasn't clued in during that time, you right? Know? And like you just miss a craze. You I don't just see it until it. you're meant to see it. And that's I, what I think of like music a lot. Wow, so true. So I and I was meant to see Ocean's Eleven this weekend, so that gets an A. And then we just go right into our reality reality TV. Um, oh, I've been keeping up with New Girl. I'm on season two now, so I've watched all of season one, and I give season one of New Girl. Yeah. Um, It's so funny. I don't know an A minus. I'll give season one yeah. a new girl an A minus. Yeah. I'm on season two now, loving it. I think it only gets better, to be honest, yeah. too. So I'm gonna give A minus, and then Summer House. <sighs> a lot. To what to the hell? What the hell is wrong with both Carl and Lindsay? I know. What the hell is wrong with these two? I I I. I was screaming at my TV alone watching Summer House. Yeah. Because, let's just get right into it. The disrespect of Carl asking Kyle to be his flower boy. Yeah. When he is having groomsmen, and when Kyle asked him, like, are you having groomsmen? Because if he wasn't having groomsmen and he still wanted him to be a part of the party, I still think it's lame. But, like, okay, you want people to be part of the party. I mean, you want people part be part of the wedding without having a party. Still think Flower Boy for Kyle is, like, a little lame and demeaning. Um, because even he said, like, let's be honest, like, Kyle fits Flower Boy a little bit more. Yeah, Like, right. shut up. Right. Also, being thrown in. With Andrea and Luke. Right. Is also offensive. It is. Completely. Carl officiated Kyle and Amanda's wedding. Absurd. Not only is he flower boy, but also with Andrea and Luke. Right. Like, is... Are Carl and Kyle's friendship, like, so skewed and towards one side that... Carl has so many other friends that Kyle doesn't even crack the groomsmen list. Insane. Or and, then, and like like I just felt I felt bad for Kyle because it's like I just I really think Lindsay holds such a grudge and never forgets anything. And the way that things went last year, like the way things were going with with the whole lover boy thing when when Carl like left lover boy and the fights from last summer whatever like i don't know if 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 it came from lindsay like oh we can't give him like that big of a role or whatever but i don't know if they thought this was like funny and cute like flower boy is just so lame it's weird it's weird and it's lame it's offensive and yeah. um it Carl, gives, it gives like Chippendale vibes. Also, like not gonna lie, like start just like having three like grown men do it together. It's like <laughs> it just kind of makes me think they're gonna like get to the end of the aisle and like strip. Like, yeah, that sounds ridiculous. I don't it's like. No, I don't like it at all. And I think Carl was super lame. To I understood why he was blaming it on on Lindsay, but him saying Lindsay never said I don't want Kyle to be your groomsman, but saying yeah. she didn't want Kyle like. 
She either said it or she didn't right. say it. So what are you trying to imply right here? Right. Either own your decision or f- say that that Lindsay said she doesn't want Kyle to be a groomsman. Like the fact yeah. that he then said she didn't say that, but like you're a grown man. I don't know. Everything about Carl, I don't like. Yeah. I don't like either of them. I don't like it. It's in this situation. Like I'm just, uh, God, it's a train wreck. It's a train yeah. wreck. I do enjoy watching Lindsay open up with the girls. I think, you know, we don't really see this side of Lindsay yeah. and her opening up with the girls and the girls giving their. And the their... girls seemed happy about that too. Like yeah. Paige was like, this is how it like should be. Right. And I thought that was nice. Yeah. And um, unfortunately, Lindsay wasn't listening to them be like, these are red flags because yeah. she kind of wanted to ignore all of that. But, God, I think they're both wrong. Like, I but watching, Car- like, because the first couple episodes, I'm like all out on Lindsay, right? The first couple episodes of the yeah, season. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like anti-Lindsay. Like, I see where Carl's coming from. Yeah. But I also think Carl has this side of him that is just. I agree. That, that probably fucking revs Lindsay's engine up because he's incredibly frustrating. Yeah. I completely agree. I just think that they are not compatible. One of the one of the girls the said the it. Day, they said they just, don't like each other. Yeah. I think it was Paige. I think she yeah. was like they just don't like each other. Yeah. It's clear. Yeah. It's clear as day. And so yeah, that was tough watching them do, go through that and then also like having Kyle be at this fitting that all these other groomsmen were at. He's not a groomsman. And then I guess he stayed out too late. And then Amanda was mad. They also, I think they did something with the editing to make it seem like, like I think editing, whatever, producers, whoever, like really wanted to make it seem like Amanda and Kyle were looking for houses in New Jersey because Kyle like said, he said Jersey. So, they didn't really like say where they were, but then it kind of felt like they were trying to imply that it was Jersey. And Amanda did comment on the post being mm-hmm. like, you know, sorry if we've we misled anybody. They were in Southampton. It was in the Hamptons. They were looking at a house in the Hamptons. Um, you know, a Bravo account found the Zillow mm-hmm. listing. It was like, this is the house. Like, And, you know, Amanda commented like, I've made it clear I want to like find somewhere just outside of the city. We've said we were looking in the Hamptons too, just like so I can get out out of the city but then you know she saw the price tag crush those dreams so mm. they're they are looking but it did it, it it was just put together a little weird but i don't think that's on them i think that's like the story that they're trying to write with the two of them right now yeah um that kind of got overshadowed for me because I was so stuck on the fact that yeah, Kyle yeah, yeah. was asked to be flower know, boy that like anything after that I was I like I don't even and know w- what's happening. What a gorgeous party um, Paige put together! Gorgeous, really fabulous. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful setup. I love I love when Andrea comes to visit. I did miss Wes, but I do love when Andrea is in town. What did you think about the discussion um, about Wes and Sierra and Danielle when they and um, who else was there? Jesse on the rooftop, and they were talking about how like. I guess Sierra and Wes, I have not taken things further. And I thought yeah. that was kind of odd because I was like, why are they? I'm sure for the I show mean, I purposes. I think like Jesse like- doesn't have much of a filter and he's like, he'll learn from that right now. Mm-hmm. But I think, you know, he's like, oh, I'm just going to see what happens if I say like, oh, you got, you know, I think he thinks it's funny. Right. You know, you kind of, you're poking at your friends. I think Sierra is like so cautious and like, oh, maybe even like overly cautious because of everything that happened with Austin. And she just seemed so adamant after that whole thing happened mm-hmm. that she did not want to get into any other kind of like situationship, relationship, whatever on the show, like with another mm-hmm. person on the show. So I don't blame her, though, for being I don't cautious. blame her like, either. She looked silly when it came to Austin. Yeah, she knows that. Um, not by her fault. I think, you know, no. Austin fucked up big time with Sierra. And I think she now, she probably really likes West and is like, let me yeah. be cautious and let me see what his, you know, motives are because she well, probably doesn't want to get hurt. Or and he look really stupid. does seem so great. So it's like, are you, you're kind of afraid, like, is it all like too good to be true in this right. scenario as well? Cause that's what got her. That's what got her last time. Exactly. Um, 
But it is interesting. I'm like really, I really want to know like what happens. I know. Or if like, if it maybe just it fizzled or whatever. Because I feel like if they were together now, we would know somehow. But maybe they're keeping it quiet because they want to wait till it comes out on the show. Yeah, I guess but like for a full year almost. I know. Well, we'll. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, yeah. I know. I'm dying to know. But Summer House gets dying um, to know. an A from me. Uh, Vanderpump Rules. <laughs> it's just not hitting. I'll be on. Yeah, and I think we feel the same way about it. Did you see that clip of Jax at his bar? Yeah. Being like, Vanderpump is scripted. It's so scripted. It's the most scripted shit ever. Like, so why scripted. is he doing that? Like, Bro, you were on the show, know. and now I, yeah. you're on the Valley, which is basically like yeah. just a spinoff. Of I don't know. It's like the first, the first, the, the early seasons are scripted, but now like it's all scripted. They're not even friends. <laughs> I don't think it's scripted because they're they they all hate. It's obvious yeah. that none of them like each other. So well, that's the thing. I really think it is. It's scripted in the sense that they don't hang out outside of the show. Right. It's scripted you know? in the sense that they're having a water tasting yeah. that they would never have right. if the show wasn't going right. on. Like it's script yes, exactly. Like there's no time that all these people are like, oh let me call up the girls and like let's all go. Like it just feels like they don't really see each other as a full group. Mm-hmm. Cause now everyone keeps alluding to that too. Like it's not even only them, but it's like Katie too, like off it's like what friend group? Like they're like this is not, you know, it's now it just feels contrived feels forced yeah c minus yeah the water taste i mean that guy from the water tasting was absolutely hilarious mm-hmm. i will say like what an absurd fake job like right. that is not a real thing and i saw somebody look up the water and it was like not at like they were saying it was thousand dollar it was like a hundred dollars yeah the which only is one in Amer- the only one water, in the united states yeah um yeah that was that was bizarre and i just think like you know, like we said, we knew it was going to be tough to watch this all months later. And Ariana is still obviously extremely frustrated. But just seeing them like yell at each other is not entertaining either. It's just like not not great. Um, and there's moments of Tom like it almost feels like he is trying to be like tail between his legs. But then they're just like ariana just and it's fine it's fair like she just hates his guts yeah and that's that's she can feel that way very um and it's just like gonna come out like that and it's just gonna come out every time where it's like it's hard to listen to watch somebody who's like don't speak to me don't speak to me don't speak to me but it's like she fucking hates him so right like Like, there's like we're we're forcing them to be together when in reality she would never speak to him again um but i will say just the one thing that i feel like if i could give tom one thing is it really does feel like ariana lives in her own filth a little bit and i don't like yes they showed that clip of ariana changing the litter box Mm -hmm. after tom says she never changed the litter box and whatever but the the clips of and lala kind of alluded to it too it's like the wings like why do you have food in your like it's the situation they're in because they live in separate parts of the house so she i'm sure she's just always in her bedroom she doesn't want to be outside of her house but when they show clips of that of her in that room yeah and everything that's it's just it's right and shit everywhere and it is kind of like and i feel like right now if you say anything that's on the opposite side of Ariana. Yeah. People get upset, but it's like, no, totally understand Ariana. I could not be fucking, rooting harder for no, Ariana. Her, I said one thing, she yeah, could be a little yeah. cleaner. Want her to get all the brand deals. Yeah. Love that she's thriving. Fucking hate Tom Sandoval. Like, you should hate him. Of yep. course you fucking hate him. But I under should he have opened the door to her room and, and let the dog go in there? No. But leaving food in your room right, that grosses just, me just, out. That just sends shivers down my spine no, it anyway. just it just grosses me yeah, out yeah, like you just yeah. throw things like the smell of, of yeah, no. food sitting like things it was like be, wings right yeah like, like and it had skewers like if, if there's a skewer involved that's just getting thrown out yeah right yeah, yeah yeah um yeah. so that yeah. i was like okay i don't understand like the dog yeah ate what's the things with here. the skewers like why didn't you just throw out your skewers yeah 
that should not be sitting in your room yeah it shouldn't yeah no. i don't care if you have a if you have a drunk night with food yeah. blah, blah blah you wake up you throw the food out immediately 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 you wake up you don't want to fucking smell like oh god yeah, no. No. no oh my god no throw it out immediately so yeah vanderpump c minus i think it gave it um the valley absurd <laughs> it's fucking absurd <laughs> Chris and Doty back Kristen, on reality Kristen TV. Chris and Doty is, needs like a so ridiculous. She it's, needs. I, I was jaw on the floor watching this episode. Chris and Doty, I think, needs like a twenty four seven camera on her, um, and then they can like splice it up like Love Island style, and I, we get to just watch yeah. it every night because her and I said this last week. Her and Jax are the messiest reality TV stars of all time, and now they're back on TV, and it's it's giving us what we need for reality TV filth. It is. I texted you after I watched the episode because I knew you watched it on on Tuesday and I was watching it on Wednesday and I was just like, the world that Kristen lives in, for her to have gone through what she went through and the end of Vanderpump Rules mm -hmm. for her and everything getting that happens fired. and getting fired and race issues being at the forefront of that, mm -hmm. for her to throw out a racist accusation at somebody to be like you know she's to her to be like oh i'm not the one who said it i heard it from somebody else or it's getting passed down the line like so crazy to me i was like we're on episode three right like they were so early in on filming mm -hmm. this show and kristen just whips out like i was like girl how how is this something that in your mind you think I would even bring up on camera. Insanity. Truly insanity. And it just sounds like this got totally warped into something. People just, like everyone took a word and they elevated the mm -hmm. word all the way to the end. Um, what, like Janet said this and Zach said that and Janet was talking to Michelle and Michelle said something about, uh, you know, uh, they were talking politics, something mm -hmm. about a bill. They were talking and, and it was like, it was just... It was ridiculous too, just from the fact that they were, they were using Republican, <laughs> like it was worse than racist. This is crazy. Like it was like they were like she. They were like whisper. They were like because it changed, and as the episode went on, people started saying, "Well, we're they, somebody said she's a Republican. No, she's a they, somebody said she's a racist." and a republican and they were and they were like whispering it they were like she's racist and republican it was <laughs> yeah like zach in his interview being like hey that's his name zach right i th yes i'm pretty sure i think for him to be like that's something that you do not throw around in los angeles mm -hmm. like you will not like your social suicide babe. like because like, you uh, it was it was absurd and kristen's yeah. interview of like getting emotional talking about it i'm like okay fair you went through this you're talking about it on the show you can talk about it but you brought this all back up mm -hmm. yeah like you like she was so worried she started crying she was like afraid like something was gonna happen again yeah. she's like i can't believe like she was like and then i was canceled and then she's she's like i hope i i hope i'm not opening the can of worms again it's like you did this you reignited the conversation yeah um I, I also want to talk about it's how absurd. it's an absurd show it is and that man that are you bringing up that i was about that to say, man that man jesse, jesse makes jacks look good man that guy's a piece of shit yeah. like i can't look away from him um when he when they were they're the ones that got already yes, got divorced yes, right good yes good when they're arguing at the table over this and he, Michelle starts talking. The accusations are about Michelle, his wife. And when Michelle starts talking, and he goes like this, whoosh, and put the his hand, hand up, I could to put his hand over her face to like tell her to shut up. I was like, oh no, no. The no, way no, no, that no, no, he, no, no, yeah, no. the way that he treats her, the way that he treats everybody, the way he talks in general. Yeah. I mean, you could tell from watching them go through marriage counseling. It was like these. She's over him completely. Yeah, completely. When they were talking about sex yeah. and like whatever's going on there with them, um, I was like, oh, they're the couple that got divorced already. Yeah, yeah, totally. 100%. Yep. But I'm now roped into watching them on TV. Like, I think that's what's crazy is that you it's don't, an absurd show. I really did not think episode three of this yeah. show they would be talking about these things. Right. And, I and these accusations. I will say what's crazy is that 
you don't necessarily want to watch good people on reality TV. Oh, you you no. got you want your you want your reality TV people to be filled with trash, and um, that's the vibe I get from right. from the valley. Yeah, <laughs> yep, yeah. I mean, you need to have people that are somehow going to spill like a an, a potential argument over politics into a a. a blatant just accusation mm. and throw it into somebody's face and just see what happens yeah it, it really got yeah. out of control yeah that was yeah um and and like you said we're only on episode three right like i'm like so that's what's happening on the valley yeah um, like we're we're watching uh we're watching them taste water on vanderpump <laughs> we're getting we're we're calling people racist on the valley <laughs> episode three Episode three. Oh my gosh. I, I look forward to the valley every week now. Crazy. Um they they're really doing it. So the valley gets the valley gets a uh, a B for me yeah, for this week. The valley fair. gets a B. That's fair. And that's it for me, I think. I'm somewhere in the same range. I'll I'll Summer House gets an A minus. I'll give Vanderpump a C. And the valley a B plus. Um, I didn't. I not too much for me this week. Honestly, I caught up on one episode of Shogun. I'm still not completely caught up. So I think I watched episode five. Yeah, I watched episode five. I'll give that a. I'll give that a B plus. Shogun's really good. I, I wish I had more time to, to completely catch up. I mean, well, I sound like a broken record at this point. There's so many shows I still haven't mm-hmm. watched that I want to watch. And... I mean, same. Yeah. Clocked my um, Chicago Wednesday. How was Joey on his... Uh... I haven't watched yet. Uh, okay. I haven't watched yet. I was away this whole weekend, so I didn't get yeah. to the Thursday shows. I only watched Summer House. Mm-hmm. Um, I have not watched 911. Um, Chicago across the board. I'll give bees. They were I, they were good episodes, and I think that's I've been popping in and out of suits, still just like when I'm home and I just need something on. I'm on season six. It's not you know this whole Mike in 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 jail thing. Like I gotta get past this. Oh, I'm not mm-hmm. even there. I've never made oh, it to that point. Yeah, well. Sorry, but it's it's uh not great. I feel like it's it's but this is where it's like season six, I think people say that, you know, then it starts to kind of go There's down because by the time the show ends it's Yeah. 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 That's okay. a, that's everything I was wa- I watched. Okay. I watched uh Roadhouse on Amazon, which I'm trying to think of like what happened at the end. I'm like, did I finish it? Maybe I didn't. I I don't know. I did think it was funny. My mom randomly texted me today or texted our whole family at 1230 today saying, who's watching Roadhouse? Jake Hall's jacked. Exclamation point. <laughs> sounds like something, I, my, sounds like she sounds is like now. Sounds like my mom would say. Yeah. Uh, I'll give it a C minus though from what I can remember. It was, it's like not a terrible watch, but it's just not a good movie. Like, Bless you. C- oh Conor McGregor is just like, his character is just laughably like bad mm-hmm. in every way. Right. Um, I haven't but heard it's just the best so corny yeah, and it's yeah. not great. Um, so, I've yeah. seen some of the clips on TikTok of like some of Conor mm-hmm. McGregor's moments that didn't look promising no, no. for his acting career in the future. <laughs> right. uh, I'll give that a C minus. I watched Dream Scenario. That's the Nicolas Cage movie um, where everyone starts dreaming about him. Never heard of it. You haven't heard of it? Um, I'm pretty sure it's on, it's on Max. Good movie. I, I would definitely Is recommend it, it. It came out... Uh, 2023, yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, it's very like being John Malkovich esque type movie. Um, but I'll give that a B. Like it was a it was a good movie. On- honestly, everything he does, I like. Like Nicolas Cage. Um, I went to the movie theater yesterday, saw Dune two. How was that? Oh shit! You saw Dune two. I saw Dune two. <laughs> wow, I completely forgot about that. Did God, you see the it in weeks IMAX? are blending yeah. together. Um, no. Neither did I. I there's no it, it was impossible. It's impossible. There was no... I actually looked every night that I could have. I looked for Monday... I looked for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of last week to go 
see it in IMAX at the Lincoln Center. It's crazy. And it was every seat was full. It was like unless you wanted to sit in the like first the movie's row. been out for like mm-hmm. a month. I know. Still, every seat was full. No, I just saw it in a normal theater. I saw it. Fantastic. In I'm now I, I, but it wasn't I completely like, a like feel like I've lived too long in between. Wow, of like I've because it's because I talked about it multiple times already with other people about Dune Two. What did you think? I thought it was. I great. I liked it. I mean, it was really good. Like it's it's so much better. Like I mean, Dune the first one was good, but it was these movies aren't really like on my alley like as much. I'm not like the biggest sci-fi yeah. guy, but this movie was like a hundred times more. Uh, captivating to me mm-hmm. than the first one. Um, yeah. I mean, and I also was like, I can see why people, because even just seeing it on a big screen, it wasn't IMAX. I'm like, if this was IMAX, I'm sure it's totally. like, holy shit. But I, yeah, I, I liked it. Like, I mean, it was really good. It was really good. Yeah, I, w- I Dune 2 is the name. I give it an A-. minus. Yeah, I, I had it as B+, plus, but that's just because it's not, your type. It's not my cup of tea. Yeah. Um, I just really like, Timothy Chalamet is fantastic. He is. I really think he is because he pulls off like so many different roles and this is like never would I think I would be describing like a Timothy Chalamet character as like a badass but like he is and it's funny like he pulls it off which some people like can't pull off Have that. you ever seen the movie like, where when he... he's like taken over and he's like yelling and it's yeah. like Have you ever seen believable. King the movie that he was he played With What it, I think it's called King. No, I don't no. think so. But he's kind of, that's similar. I don't think I've seen a ton of Timothy Chalamet movies. I think I saw Little Women and Call Me By Your Name. You got to yeah. see Hot Summer Nights. And I think I told you to watch that. That's a Timothy Chalamet movie that's right up. Yeah. Your alley. Is that the one with Selena Gomez? No, it's with, um, is that with Army Hammer? No, no, no. no. Call Me By Your no, Name no, no, no. is Army Hammer. Hammer. Uh, but it's like where he's like selling weed, basically. Like, oh. it's, it's like summer vacation and, oh. and he starts selling weed. Um, yeah, I went to that. I went down that rabbit hole when I was watching because Florence Pugh is in. Uh, well, I forgot I had this. I had this take and everything that I didn't. I didn't shoot it off anywhere. But Florence Pugh is in Dune too, um, and obviously Florence and Timothy Chalamet, both in Little Women, mm-hmm. Greta Gerwig, and I feel like the two of them in a Greta Gerwig, like, rom-com type movie would be a great pairing. I think so, too. Yeah. And he's filming Bob the Bob Dylan movie in New York as we speak. Yeah. Like, people yeah, are seeing him Yeah, people just are catching him walking around eating pizza or any yeah, jersey. I, I saw a picture <laughs> yeah. of him from, like, a movie scene from literally around the corner from my apartment. Yeah. It is funny, though, because in this movie, he's, like, an amazing fighter and everything, but he is just, like, kind of the scrawny guy. That's what I'm saying. That's what I said. But he pulls it off. Zendaya also so good. I yeah. freaking love her. Yeah. So I will say across the board, it's just a really good movie. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And people were saying it, but it's true. Like that, it you don't really think like, oh, this is CGI ever. Like everything looks so yeah, real. It does. Like you're it does. in the desert. Yeah. Um. And then last night I watched Anyone But You, um, the movie. Yep. Um. Not a fan. Not a fan. Oh. Yeah. I think... Well? Uh, I'll give it a C, and I think that's, like, me being kind to the movie. Really? I what just did was you like, like about it? First of all, just the whole storyline, I'm i like, so they hate each other because he, she left... Like, it just didn't add up to me. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, like... You weren't uh, buying into what they were I selling. wasn't buying into it at all, and then, like, everything that happened, I'm like, this is the most classic, like... I could see it. It was just, like, so cliche rom-com like mm-hmm. everything and uh i don't think they had chemistry i don't think sydney sweeney's the best actress chemistry i don't i don't Jeez. um i don't th- I, I don't think, think she's Powell- fantastic in it but i do think those two have chemistry i think glenn powell's great like i think he should be in a million rom-coms but I, this like i'll pick set it up a 10 billion times over this in terms of like what i'd want to watch like um, as like a rom com. Uh, yeah, I, I said that to Rhea when she was watching on the plane. I was like, I would rather see a Glenn Powell, another Glenn Powell Zoe Deutsch movie than another Glenn Powell City Sweeney movie. Yeah, I don't know. I just I was like, damn, this I 
it did not do it for me. I, I, I yeah. I mean, teach yeah, their I own. Thought I thought the cute. movie was great. Maybe you didn't watch it in the right setting. No, no. Watching I, it on the plane, you know. Yeah, I mean, I thought, I thought the movie I was, was so adorable. ready. I'm like, you know what? After watching Dune two, like, give me like a rom com, mm-hmm. and I just did not hit at all. I'm like, so sorry that you... I thought it was like legit funny too. Like the other side characters, I thought were funny. Really? Yeah. Who were the other like Alexandra Ship? Like all of those? Like oh, uh, she was funny. I thought the the uh, Australian hunky boyfriend what was funny yeah yeah wasn't for me so i'll give <laughs> i'll give it a c damn well you know what that's all right at least we can acknowledge glenn powell is he's great, great. he's great he I, I, he, yeah. I think he's like perfect for these yeah type he, of roles. he can be in any rom-com yeah maybe it's because i saw him in and set it up and you had a you had and a like it's like similar like but i don't know i think yeah all right is that all? That's all I watched. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sad to end on that note, yeah, but no. that's everything we watched. On a downer. <laughs> yeah. That's... But Dune 2 is great, guys. Dune 2 yeah. is great, and I don't judge anyone if you like anyone yeah, but yeah. you, but yeah. it's just not for And Glenn Powell is great. Yeah. Glenn Powell is great. 